wizards, witches, and muggles, and squibs, I guess. Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. It is time for another magical unboxing. Yes, this is this month's J.K. Rowling Wizarding World's Loot Crate. I believe the theme is magical must-haves, and I'm so excited to unbox it with you guys. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our Weird Magical Online family. But without further ado, let's go because I need to know what is inside of this box. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first things first. Can we just mention how big this box is? The Loot Crate Wizarding World boxes are never this big. When my postman gave it to me, I was like, oh, that is rather large, thank you. So yeah, I'm really excited to open it because I don't know why it is this big. It has got me very curious. Now it has a sticker on the front which says Muggleworthy. Sometimes they switch these up, but most of the time it's the Muggleworthy switched from Newt Scamander's suitcase. I have that on my necklace today because I'm very, very cool. Anyway, let's get on with it, let's unbox. So I'm just going to cut the sticker, which is always a shame. I wish they peeled off, but they don't. So, ooh, I see blue. Ooh, oh my gosh. No wonder it was so large. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. I need to calm down. This box looks <laughs> very exciting. Ah, okay, right. First things first. So what have we got here? It is an office stationery set. This is why the box was so big, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, yeah, this is actually from Fantastic Beasts, so not Harry Potter, and it's uh, by Makusa, so the Magical Congress of the United States of America, which is the Ministry of Magic, but the US version. So over here, we have got a really cool notes pad with the Makusa emblem on there. We have some metal bookmarks, those are exciting. And down here is some post-it notes, and the design of that is the Magical Exposure Threat Level Clock, which is really cool. This is exciting because I really love stationery. You guys know that it's my weakness. So this is a great start to the box. Ah, okay, I don't know what to choose next. I don't know what to pick. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. Now, <laughs> I had a small little inkling that a Gryffindor scarf was in this box because some of these tassels were sticking out of one of the seams when it got delivered and I had to shove them back in. But I tell you what, uh, this is actually really lovely and probably nicer quality than any of the other Gryffindor scarves I have. And I think I have about three or four of them already. I know, it's a little bit excessive, but this one's really nice. It has like this plastic leather, pleather, patch of the Gryffindor emblem. Now, depending on what house you're in, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Gryffindor, that is what colour scarf you'll get. So if you order these boxes, you will get your house on a scarf. And oh, it's just really nice. It feels lovely and it's just perfect for autumn. Very nice. I am uh, very pleased with this box so far. And the next thing is exciting me. Okay, what are you? This says Honey Jukes on it. Um, oh my gosh. This is so cute. Now it does say not edible. Uh, I kind of expected it to be edible because it's honey dukes and that's where you buy your magical confectionery from. Right, so what does it say on the side? It's a set. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Guys, check this out. So it says honey dukes on there and then inside they don't smell. I wish that the chocolate frog smelt like chocolate, but it doesn't. It's uh, an eraser set, uh, and it has a chocolate frog, which I'll just show you. A little chocolate frog, which looks really delicious, but obviously it's made out of rubber. And we have a sugar skull here. And what are you? We have um, a cauldron, a little baby cauldron, and a jelly slug, which is interesting. This packaging. Oh wow, it's so cute. Like you could take these erasers out and then you have a Honey Dukes box and you could use that for jewelry. I tell you what's going in here guys. My pin collection, my Harry Potter pin collection is definitely going to live inside of here. So yeah, oh 
it's so cute. It's so cute. I wish they were scented though. That would be cool. But yes, my little honey jukes erasers. That's really nice. Even more stationary, your girl's in heaven. What have we got left? Okay, uh, I'm going to save that till last. And I think we're gonna open this. Now we have had one of these in these boxes before. It's a wand pen from Ollivanders. And the thing that I really loved about it last time, are you gonna come out? Are you gonna come out? thing that I really loved last time was the box, the packaging feels really luxurious, it honestly does. So let's see which wand pen we have this time. Oh, we've got Harry's wand, that's cute. So I think I have Snape's, I think it was Snape's, but this time it is Harry's. And the thing about these wand pens are that they're actually really heavy and quite uh, sturdy but I'm not sure if they're too heavy to write with but they feel really lovely and the end of the wand fits really good on the end when you take the pen out so yeah that's really nice I'm starting a little wand pen collection which I didn't think would happen but there you go so that's nice a little Ollivander's pen and the last thing <laughs> is probably my favorite thing to get in these boxes. That's right, it's time to see what pin we have got. Now, the last few pins in these boxes have been some of the Horcruxes, so I'm kind of expecting another one, and ooh, it's got a double pin back, which is the, oh, ooh, oh, that's really lovely. So this is, it says Locket Medallion, but it's the Slytherin Locket, and I tell you something, they keep improving on these. They get better and better each box. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. This is, um, it's like, it's got pointy enamel, but inside it's got like little green diamonds that go along the Slytherin snake. It's really, really nice. I really like that. Is it my new favorite pin? It might be. It just might be. I need to get around to doing a pin collection at some point, but I'm waiting. I'm biding my time. And we have come to the end of the box. Now, it does have the little leaflet, and I am actually going to attempt to make this box because I believe that it turns into a little fake trunk, though it is blue, and I'm not a Ravenclaw. It would have been cool if it was red or brown. It would have been good if it was brown, because then it's like universal. Right, let's have a look. Magical must-haves. This creates magical loot. Okay, so it says the Hogwarts house scarf, and again, everything in this box is a Loot Crate exclusive, though uh, I know you can get them on like eBay and stuff afterwards. But yeah, so Hogwarts house scarf, a key component to a Hogwarts uniform. Show your house pride with this scarf that features your house colours and crest. Salazar Slytherin's locket enamel pin, the next in our Horcrux pin series. Yes, I knew they were doing a series, but they didn't tell us until now. This is the safest way to wear this particularly nasty bit of jewellery. I like it. Honey Duke's Eraser Set, this unique collection of erasers inspired by some of the best known treats found at Honey Duke's will make finals week that much sweeter. Harry Potter's wand pen, perfect for a little everyday magic. This special pen will make your words appear on paper whenever you want. I mean, that's kind of what pens do, but okay. Makusa's desk supply set. Any desk at Makusa will be properly and fully stocked with this set of basic supplies. So yes, that is everything. I really like this month's box. I think my favorite thing is obviously the pin. The pin is always my favorite because I have a pin obsession. But besides the pin, it's gotta be this Honey Dukes box because the erasers are really cute. But I like the box itself and this is going to look perfect on my bookshelves with my little Harry Potter confectionery section. Yes, I do have one of those. So yeah, that is the end of this month's box and it does show you how to turn your crate into a trunk and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly now before I go. <laughs> okay, and there we go. I've got a little Hogwarts trunk. You know what, even though it's blue and I'm not a Ravenclaw, it's still actually quite cute. I don't normally bother making the boxes, but this one is rather nice. It would be nice if the next few were different shapes and different colors to match the other houses. But yeah, I quite like that. 
I might even keep it, who knows. So yes, we have come to the end of this month's Magical Loot Crate unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your other Potterhead pals, and let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing from this month's because I would absolutely love to know. I'm already looking forward to the next crate, which I believe is in November, which is very, very exciting. That will also be their one year anniversary, I think, from when they started releasing them which is very 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 exciting indeed maybe they'll do something special for it who knows anyway i'm gonna go i really hope you liked the video i will see you next time and thank you very much for watching bye guys